welcome to another episode of It's a Grit Life. I know it's been a while since the last episode. It's been a very busy and adventurous summer and I'm excited to catch you all up on it. If I had to define this summer, I would say it's the summer of teamwork. When I first started using my Grit Freedom Chair, I limited myself to trails that I could do 100% on my own. If I encountered a challenging section that was beyond my skill level, I would get out and scoot along the ground while pulling my chair with me, or I'd turn around. I was stubbornly independent, which many view as a positive trait. However, I was actually limiting myself and those who cared about me. I came to realize that in order to do the things I wanted to do with the people that I wanted to be with, I would have to take a good hard look at myself and come to humility. The first big test for this came during a fundraising hike for the nonprofit organization called No Barriers. The hike is an annual event called What's Your Everest? A group of people, all with different abilities, meet together to enjoy a beautiful day doing a challenging hike together near Rocky Mountain National Park. I was quite nervous having people I didn't know helping me up the mountain. It wasn't even that I was worried about my safety. I trusted that they would keep me safe. I was worried about their safety and well-being. I didn't want them to hurt themselves or overexert themselves while they were focusing on getting me over the obstacles, and that became my role in the team. I made sure people took breaks, rotated positions, and watched their footing. The mental aspect of needing assistance on such difficult terrain became easier as the team bonded throughout the day. They started to sense when I was able to do things myself and when I needed a boost without any words needing to be said. The biggest change that took place in me was that I didn't feel like a burden on anyone and that was always my biggest fear. In fact, I often allowed them to help me when I didn't need it. I could see that it made my teammates feel good to help me and that was something that I could give to them. It was a wonderful day that taught me so much about the nature of teamwork and I feel very blessed to have been a part of it. The ultimate test of my summer of teamwork came in mid-September. Some of the friendships that I made at What's Your Everest cultivated an idea to climb one of Colorado's 14,000 foot peaks. The more we spoke about it, the more the idea and support for the endeavor grew. On September 16th at 5 a.m. in the dark with headlamps, myself and a team of over 25 individuals set out to summit Mount Bierstadt. The support my new team gave me left me speechless. With their assistance, my Grit Freedom Chair made it to about 250 feet of elevation below the summit, with about one quarter mile left of travel to go. A large boulder field stood between us and the summit at this point. Me and the team leader had discussed the possibility of needing to abandon the chair at a certain point. It was at this ridge point that we decided it would be best to leave the chair and use other means to reach the summit. One of my teammates, Brayden, volunteered to carry me on his back up to the summit. It was humbling to sit there with so many people who pinned in so, many, so much effort to get me to the top and have them congratulate me on getting there. It took us five hours to reach the summit. We had about 15 minutes to enjoy and then had to get back down because the descent is often more challenging. Down through the boulder field, Brayden once again carried me. And then I got into my chair once again. Well, when I started getting tired and overwhelmed, uh, another teammate, Jeff, volunteered to carry me for a bit. I think the thing that I learned above all through doing Mount Bierstadt was it's okay to be vulnerable, and there is strength in vulnerability. I'm so grateful to call so many of those teammates my friends now, and I can't wait to see what other adventures we have in store. If there is something that you really truly want to do, it is okay to ask for help to get a team behind you, no matter how difficult the endeavor. It's about making the most of the time we have with the people who care about us. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next episode of It's a Grit Life. Until then, go out and have an adventure of your own.